According to a recent study, the average wedding cost in the U.S. is now $35,000. And that's not even including the amount spent on the engagement ring. As you might imagine, the figures vary wildly from state to state and even city to city. Couples in New York City, for example, spend on average over $63,000 for the ceremony and reception. If that sounds like a lot of money, it is. To put that into historical perspective, wedding spending has increased 3,000% since the 1950s. Extravagant, expensive weddings are becoming the norm. A wedding is an important day and a significant moment in time. It signifies the day we commit the rest of our lives to another human being, to love, cherish, and honor until death do us part. It is a commitment that we make in front of friends and family and often represents the joining of two families into one. This video is by no means meant to downplay the importance of that special day. But we should consider if this trend to increasingly spend more and more money on weddings is a wise choice. It is helpful, I think, to consider some of the negative ramifications of an expensive and extravagant wedding because most people never even stop to consider them. But ever-increasing wedding costs are not necessary and may actually be doing more harm than good. Consider the reasons. Number one, extravagant weddings result in increased stress and distraction. Wedding days are stressful enough. Adding dozens of unnecessary frills and expenses makes them even more so. On the other hand, a simple wedding helps keep focus on the bride and the groom rather than the decorations accommodations, and food. Number two, expensive weddings bring financial consequences felt for years. If you're going into debt to pay for your wedding, please don't. Financial pressures consistently rank as one of the top reasons for divorce. Even if you do have the money saved, it can almost certainly be spent wiser elsewhere. Paying off a different debt, becoming a down payment on your home, or even the honeymoon experience. Number three, extravagant weddings often distract from the hard work of preparing for the marriage. When it comes to joining two lives into one, how many flowers will be in each centerpiece at the reception dinner is the least of your concerns. You and your future spouse should be talking about the plans for your life together methods of communication, and family experiences that may result in mismatched expectations. Spend as much time together in premarital counseling as you do planning the actual ceremony. That is where the true foundation for happy marriage is laid. Number four, expensive weddings, at least in my opinion, aren't even necessarily more beautiful. The early assumption made by brides and grooms is that spending more money will result in a more beautiful experience and ceremony, but that is simply not the case. I have attended expensive weddings that were beautiful, certainly, but I have also attended simple weddings that were even more beautiful and often showcased more of the bride's and the groom's personality. Simplicity as they say, is the ultimate sophistication. Number five, extravagant weddings magnify mistakes and mishaps. Almost no wedding gets by without some mishap occurring during the day, whether before, during, or after the ceremony. In my opinion, when a couple has invested so much time, energy, sweat, and money into a ceremony, they are more likely to sweat the small stuff thinking their financial investment would have insulated them from any moments of imperfection. Take heart, the little mishaps on your wedding day will be the memories you talk about the most. Not allowing them to ruin your special moment when they occur is key to enjoying your day. Number six, extravagant weddings tend to promote or result from competition. 
Thinking your wedding day may measure up to a purely subjective standard set by a friend, family member, or pin on Pinterest is a foolish way to spend your special day. Comparison is the thief of joy, Theodore Roosevelt once famously said. Allowing it to creep into your wedding day in any fashion is a poor choice. Your wedding day is about you and your future spouse, nobody else. Number seven, expensive weddings actually result in shorter marriages. Believe it or not, there is evidence that marriage duration is inversely associated with spending on the engagement ring and the wedding ceremony. Couples who spend less on their ceremony are more likely to remain together longer. In the same study, there was also connection made between the honeymoon and the marriage. Interestingly, going on a honeymoon is significantly associated with a lower rate of divorce. Based on these stats, spending money on your honeymoon is a wiser investment than money on the ceremony. My wedding occurred before my introduction to minimalism, and yet it wasn't an extravagant one. It was big, but not expensive. Kim and I got married at our home church in Omaha, Nebraska, with 400 to 500 people in attendance. Our ceremony was not flashy, but it included many beautiful elements you would assume to be present at a traditional church wedding service. For our reception, we served sandwiches and cake and punch. And if I could do it all over again, there's not a single thing I would change. Not a single day of our lives have we looked back and regretted not spending more money on our wedding. But I do know many couples who look back and do regret the amount of money they wasted on their ceremony. If you'd like a simple wedding, here are some helpful ideas to get you started. Number one, set a budget and stick to it. Number two, choose elements that are important to you, but limit the number of them. Try fewer flowers, simpler decorations, or less food choices. You can keep many of the traditional elements, if that's your style, without needing to go over the top with any of them. Number three, don't shell out big money for expensive accommodations. A simple church building can be just as beautiful as an expensive wedding chapel. And if the time of year permits, a backyard can easily host an intimate, informal, unforgettable reception with little expense. Number four, look for personal touches. A wedding ceremony that communicates your unique personalities and or your time together will always be considered more thoughtful by your guests than expensive add-ons bought at a bridal store. Number five, Realize the wedding industry is built entirely on convincing you that you need them. There are entire stores, catalogs, and websites in business today working tirelessly to convince you that you need X or Y in order for your wedding to be perfect. They're wrong. You don't need anything except for maybe official paperwork from your state and a few witnesses to sign the document. Number six, enjoy your simple, precious day focused on the things that matter most. Marital happiness has nothing to do with your wedding ceremony. It has everything to do with the weeks and the years and the life together afterwards. That's why the simplest weddings are often the happiest.